I'm going to introduce you to a Buffalo nickel that is dateless, that's worth over $2,000. You heard me right, $2,000. I'm going to show you how to find it. And if you can find it in a good enough grade, believe it or not, this Buffalo nickel could be worth over a quarter of a million dollars. Before we show you the dateless specimen of the 1916 doubled die obverse, we felt it was important for you to see what a normal 1916 looks like and where you would be looking for the doubling on this coin. Now, of course, if it had a date that was doubled, we would obviously look at the date 1916. But there are a couple other key spots that are gonna tell us if our dateless buffalo is doubled. Now the spots we're gonna be looking at is this feather right here, of this feather, and of this feather, number three feather there. So those double die feathers, in the case here it's not, are where we're gonna be looking at for a dateless specimen that fetched over $2,000. Now here is the image of that very specimen. If you'll notice, and I want to point this out, this scratch. So on the face, you can see this when I show you the auction records. There is not a date. However, if we come up to those three feathers, you can see this one is doubled. This one's a little worse, so it's a little hard to see. But right up here, extreme doubling on that feather. Now in auction, it's amazing, but you're going to be able to see that scratch and you're going to see how much this very Buffalo nickel that is dateless sold for. In March 2019, this Buffalo with his scratched face and all graded a fair two and sold for an amazing $2,075. Now this is the image of the more expensive double die obverse. As you can clearly see, the date has extreme doubling. The feathers, all of them, that one there, that one there, and again that one. Those, the reason why I pointed out those three spots is because on a worn dateless buffalo, those are the three easiest locations to see doubling. However, if you look at other spots on the obverse, like the ribbon, the neck, the chin, look at that, even in the nose, you can see some extreme doubling. Now this here, very specimen, you're not gonna believe what this specimen sold for. Now this auction is a little long a time ago, I guess you could say, uh, you know, it's nine years ago. But in July 2013, this MS-64 specimen sold for an astonish out of this world price, $253,000. That is over a quarter of a million dollars. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, give me a share. And if you're not already subbed, give me a sub. Thanks for watching.